Hello, everybody, and I want to welcome everyone to this episode of The Booze Geek. My name is Chuck. I am your host. And before I get started, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, well, hit that like button, too. Give us a big thumbs up. And always feel free to leave a comment down below. And I'm going to thank you all in advance. But what do we have on tap today? Well, we are going to be tasting and reviewing a beer from Cigar City Brewing. And they are located in... Tampa, Florida. And Tampa, Florida, well, it's probably the cigar capital. Well, definitely of Florida, if not the United States, but definitely of Florida. But Cigar City Brewing, they have been around since about 2007. And the beer we're going to be tasting, this is one of their year-round beers. This is their Maduro Brown Ale. So first and foremost, uh, so Maduro, what is a Maduro? Well, a Maduro is actually a type of cigar wrapper. It is an over-ripened, very dark, very oily, very flavorful, and complex type of cigar wrapper. So that's where the name comes from. So this beer, well, what is this beer? Well, the Maduro beer, this is an English-style brown ale. This beer clocks in at 5.5% ABV, and it's got an IBU of 25. So with that being said, why wait? Let's crack open the Maduro, and let's get the fun started. Here we go. Why not? Why wait? We don't have to wait. One, two, boom, boom. Ooh, I can't get my nail under the tab. Oh, there we go, there we go. Uh, zero smoke out of the can. Zero smoke. But let's give this Maduro a nice little pour here as we fill up the glass. Ah, that should do it. That should do it. Ooh, yeah, that's a brown ale. Look at that color. What do we got color-wise? Well, we got a dark rustic red or a dark rustic ruby you can see that and carbonation yeah say just over one finger veil of just an off-white not quite khaki but just like an off-white uh veil of carbonation but i'm gonna leave this one a minute i want to swirl this one and i want to make sure these aromas move around and i want to make sure this beer opens up and i want to see what we got going on here Let's give this a nice little swirl. Here we go. Let's give this a nose. Who knows? Oh, and I know. I hope I know. One more nose, though. Ah, it's starting to open up even a little more. Maybe I'll just uh, swirl it for a couple more seconds here. See if it opens up even a little more. Okay, well, we got some chocolate, a little bit of chocolate. We got, there's a malty sweetness, and there's a slight, slight hint of bitter coffee. Um, but let's, yeah, let's keep swirling this. I'm going to try and get this to open up just a little bit more here. And we will give this a sip. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's got some nice flavors. That's got some nice flavors. Mm. Well, we are getting some baked bread. We are getting some almond. Hmm. Some slight, slight coffee. It's almost like coffee grounds on the back end. But let me swirl this for another couple seconds. Open this up just a tad bit more and take another sip here. Yeah, there's some malt overtones and a slight doughiness counting, kind of uh, rounding it out. Um, but what's interesting about this beer is that, I mean, the flavor palette, way different than the uh, than the aromas coming off. I mean, the aromas, I mean, honestly, were a little thin. A um, little bit of, yeah, they were quite thin. The the flavor, now that it's opened up a little bit, is a little bit more bolder. Uh, I think the balance is a little off, but the flavors are definitely there. And they're, a little, like I said, they're definitely bolder than the aromas. I'm gonna give this one more sip here. Yeah, this is a definitely, this is a pretty good example of an English style brown ale. Uh, like I said, uh, 
The, the, my only complaint, I said, I think the aromas are a little thin, but the balance is slightly off aroma-wise and flavor palette-wise. Um, however, I do think this beer has great potential. I think it's going in a great direction. Um, you know, and it is a pretty good example. And it's got some, you know, got some good flavors. I said, I really like the almond flavor. You can really pull out. Um, the chocolate, I think, should maybe be bumped up a little bit. A little, not not too much, but just slightly. Um, kind of just to kind of uh, to uh, balance out the uh, the breadiness. But on the pint meter, I'm going to give this... I'm going to give this one a solid seven. I think I said, I think it... it, it could use a little bit more tweaking, but I think it's got a really, really great direction. Good potential in this beer. Really nice, nice, nice job. Um, but on that note, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to take one more quick sip. And I'm going to thank everyone for tuning into this episode. And as always, you can follow me at the websites, www.pubshaveapointin.com, or at the blog, www.pubshaveapointin.blogspot.com. And with that being said, we will see you all on the next episode. And as always, raise a pint. Cheers. Prost and enjoy.